We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. to get us started now the kicker Chris Boswell and we are underway from the city beautiful this fielded a few yards into the end zone and he'll probably wish he reconsidered here it'll cost him 10 yards now with a new rule as he's down at the 15 yard line well conventional football football 101 tells us if you don't get it back to the 20 yard line on a kickoff return that's a disappointment but some of these teams special teams coaches with approval by the head coach they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. They'll run with Elliott. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out. Blitz coming and down he goes. Javon Curse in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Here we go. Right now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got time in the pocket. Being chased out left. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they just did. And they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Here's Tressway now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Oh. And he motions the wide receiver. And the play clock's running down. They'll try and start. The this is intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Hey, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offensive move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> a first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. To me, that's a superior play by the backer because he was allowed to, I think, run free on it and make that play. His defensive linemen, they covered things down for him because offensive guys, the linemen, what they're trying to do, as you know, is block the guy at the point of attack and then climb to the next level and get the linebacker. And you're not allowed to climb. You got a free hitter, and that's what we saw there. And a really nice play resulted for them. They'll look to throw. And a catch right side by Evans. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. When Mike Evans sees man coverage, I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I guarantee the guy throwing the ball does, because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. And that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, 
most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, the risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. His path became similar to almost running the stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Marcel Reese from three yards out. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Michael Bennett's versatility, being able to play any position along the defensive front, allows him to make those types of plays. He finds good matchups and gets into the offensive backfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And a huge play that time. 54 yards. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know there's a quarterback in this league that's any good that doesn't throw an interception occasionally, and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five and still find a way to win the game at the end. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you got to slow them down a little bit, because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big fat. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Their big body receiver, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Mexico City football to begin quarter number two, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one. And some good coverage there by the kick team as they'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if he Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Javon Curse in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block it. 
And the O-line will have to do a better job protecting here on third down after that sack. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. To throw is Rodgers. He finds Coleman. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down. Spectacular catch turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Rodgers now on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Rodgers to throw on second down. Eluding the pressure right. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And now it's third down. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise there in the dive. Here's Rodgers to throw. Right side catch. This is Gates. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage. And Rodgers is going to go down. He sacked. Javon Curse. Getting him once again, his third sack of the afternoon. And now back out comes the offense. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. They come up in an offset eye. On first down, it's Gurley. Cuts it out, and he will take this one in for a touchdown. Todd Gurley, a 15-yard touchdown run. And his guys have taken the lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with the battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. And on the return, here comes Adam Jones. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30 yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points. So they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do and the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll set up a throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. He'll drop to throw. It's caught. Nelson. 
They get 14 yards there at a first down. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Chicago. Des Bryant, 49 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Now we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. They'll come out in the pistol. Slot man moves right. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. This is Johnson, he's got it. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The wide receiver Lockford. moving to a new spot. Lockford. Lockford. On play action, they'll throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Back to the ground game here. Gurley. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drive. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime.
And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. And, folks, this is a 67-yard attempt. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. They try the fake field goal. It doesn't work out. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Rodgers to throw on second down. Oh, he'll try and throw it deep to the other side of the field. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll look to throw. And it's complete. Over the middle to Clark. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So just one yard to go here on third down. Here we go. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. Gurley again here on first down. Oh, he pulls over him. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Second down, just one yard to go. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. He'll get it in the hands of Clark, complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. The 15 yards there on the catch and run. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now a play fake here on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing route. 
And he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, a 24-yard touchdown. And his guys are going to take the lead. Extra point now by Boswell. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Rodgers now to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Ten yards still left on second down. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They'll wind up losing ten on the sack. And it'll lead to a third and long. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the ah. defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. I like what they were thinking on defense. Just guard the first down sticks. Don't let anyone pass that. Didn't... In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Javon Curse. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. 